Revolution. Yo, Lock One, it's that guy. Not Locks, not Nation. Doing a little bit of a dread review here of the um, alternative rock kind. Sonny Sandoval. Also known as Paul Joshua Sandoval is an American singer, rapper, and songwriter best known as co-founder and lead vocalist of the band P.O.D. May 16, 1974, age 46, from San Diego, California. I know lately this dude's been rocking the shaved head, but apparently he's had some iconic locks from back in the day. Now, we see Sonny's locks here coming in. On a type 1 hairstyle. Type 1 hair type. Which means his hair is pretty damn straight. Maybe a little bit curly if anything. But a lot of people saying that, you know, type 1 hair doesn't lock. Or my hair type doesn't dread up. And I'm here to tell you guys that every single type of hair will lock. If left unbrushed and washed to keep them clean. Residue free shampoo, cold water rinses is the way to go. His locks here looking like they've been pretty free form. Now, locks like this tend to be crocheted first and then left to free form. Um, so it is kind of a trait seen pretty popular in the metal scene. And what makes his locks look very interesting and unique here is the fact that they're not crocheted down to the root. There's no scalp showing. Yet he was still able to achieve some pretty recognizable and iconic locks. My motto is embrace the frizz. And this dude was embracing the frizz like none before. You can see the wispy tips, a lot of the loose hair on the top. Just left to be. He wasn't one to care. Um, this picture here looking like his locks might have been a bit more manicured. Maybe just a bit more matured at this point. Uh, because... I don't know. Either way, they're just they're still looking pretty fire. I love the way that the back dreads are getting a lot fatter than the ones at the front. And this is a natural tendency of locks. The ones on the back of our head, usually our hair is a lot thicker back there. And of course, it's the area where we sleep most. So these locks tend to knot up first on the very back. I mean, the ones on the back of my head are definitely um, the thickest. On my whole head so I've, I've never been a fan of POD I don't I, I just don't think I had a chance to listen to them and become a fan um, but knowing that the dude has locks I know that you know I tend to listen to a lot of artists with dreads this is his hair beforehand this is his hair in a dreadlock Tam you know pretty much suits him uh, very well my Understanding is that he's cut them off um, as of more recently. I mean, I feel like everybody looks better with locks versus after they cut them. His locks looking like they must have been at least five, six years in length before he actually made that cut. So really cool to see, you know, where he's come from on this lock journey. And uh, here we definitely see a lot of the frizzy hairs once again. So I do understand why people are saying do a dread review on Sonny Sandoval because his, his hair is very and was very iconic. Not sure why is he, he cut him off recently. Um, I love this look here. He's got the tam on and all the locks stuffed in the back. This is an iconic look for me. This is one of the reasons why I got dreadlocks because I wanted that hat bulge from the locks. I swear it's as easy as that is. Um, this looks like a more recent photo as is as if he's trying to get his hair back but via freeform route. So I mean he might be he might be on his way back to the locks. Uh, whoa, this is a crazy picture of him. That is sick. Here we really see the definition of his locks. He's got the rasta band on his arm, so we know some of the philosophies he's living by in his life. And just dreadlocks. This this picture actually reminds me a lot of Bob Marley and the way that he would fling his hair around on stage. So, you know, I definitely can tell by this photo that he is a fan of Bob Marley. And his honesty is like, 
who isn't a fan of Bob Marley? It's very hard to find somebody that says, oh, Bob Marley, I hate his music. I can't stand it. It's like, no. There's more love than hate for Mr. Marley's locks and life and music, you know? So just going to keep this one short and sweet. You can see his locks flying around, type one hair type. And um, I'm definitely stoked that you guys have suggested this dreadlock review uh, for the nation to do today. So big ups that. And let me just check one more thing real quick. I'm going to go to my friend Bing. Figured I would drop this dread review here real quick before I head out and enjoy some sunshine for the day. Because it is super nice out right now. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Getty Images knowing what's up. Whoa, okay, so his locks really looked like they matured a lot down by the ends. Here's his hair pushed back with the Rasta band once again. But I, I will agree, they are very iconic. And this is kind of like, I feel like this is kind of where he's at now. And it just goes to show that this will freeform. This will dread up eventually. If your hair is like this, in the beginning stages of freeform locks, if you wait and be patient for the years to come, they will end up something like Sunny here. So this is why I stress over and over again how important it is to be patient and don't rush the process in any way whatsoever because, um, you know, hair wants to lock together at the end of the day. So as long as you let it and allow it to and stop playing with it and stop trying to manipulate it into the locks, I guarantee you it will happen. And here's the thing. I'm bringing it back to this review because I had realized I missed something about um, Sonny's hair. And it's, it's his current set of locks. You can see that he is growing a new set of freeform locks back in. And it's amazing to see people that are growing free forms in this day and age, especially when they're older, uh, people returning to the dreadlock scene once they've cut them. It just reminds me that, you know, once a dread, always a dread. And his hair actually starting to look uh, really dope in these beginning stages of his new free forms. A lot of frizzy hair, a lot of, it's actually really short at this, at this point in time as well. Uh, but we can really see the shape of these baby dreads coming into play. And you can see how thick some of the ends are already with that kind of a bulbous look. Uh, so, I mean, I just hope that he sticks to these locks and I hope that he sticks with the new growth, the new dreadication and the new lock commitment here to keep on the dread journey, to keep on the dread legend, keep it going. So, I mean, you know, this was one of his newer sets of locks. And they are a lot crazier when dreadlocks are at this stage. You know, this kind of reminds me of Zach De La Rocha at this point. Uh, and, you know, these were his dreads before his epic dreadlock cut. And then this is more so of his newer set, really, really showcasing... Just how blunted and, and uh, thick they actually are. I wonder if you actually use a crochet hook at all to start these out. But the definition look crazy. And these are from last year. So October of 2020 this year. Can't really tell what's going on underneath that hat. Does he still have locks going on? I think so because he is wearing this hat, the big hat still. But it's pretty hard to uh, it's pretty hard to see here if he is actually wearing locks. But I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw this video out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's throw it back to the outro. So stay lock mitted. I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If this is the first time you're watching this channel, my name is Not Locks. This is Not Nation. We do dreadlock related content here, and I'm trying to inspire the world to go freeform, go natty with their hair. And if anybody's looking for some inspiration, I call it dreadspiration. This is the place to be to find that. So 
hit that subscribe button down below if you're new and i will see you guys next time until then peace out one love stay happy and nazi i'm gone adios